what is going on guys welcome back to a, another video this is just a tip video um an explanation video on why your sustain sucks so bad in 2024 um and it is a just a very simple and maybe overlooked thing um that people might not realize as they're too busy focused with the main the main reason of why everyone uses it um and it's no big secret but um i think it's definitely noticeable now especially now pretty much everyone's running it um so surprise surprise of course the reason everyone's sustain is worse these days is because everyone's running vampire everyone's running vampire of course for the undeath um, passive which will give you 30% damage reduction or up to 30% should I say and everyone just runs straight to this whips the vampire on because they want to be more tankier and understandably everyone's running it because there is very little um, penalties really it should be I think obviously a higher stage or um, the uh, there should be more penalties or well, this should be reduced really, as unfortunately it is a bit overpowered. Um, and I never used to run vampire builds until obviously it's become meta and everyone's running it now. And obviously I noticed that because everyone's running them now, like I say 23 and 2024, basically all my PvP builds, um, barring maybe the bash build, is vampire. So, um, and the sustain is suffering. And the reason it is suffering is because of this overlooked um, passive, which um, the higher stage you are, um, your regular ability costs go up. And of course, everyone's running um, the undef to get that. You need stage three. So if you look at stage three, <coughs> you are, you are, um, your regular ability costs will go up by 8%, which doesn't sound quite a lot. Um, but unfortunately... Um, any non-vampire skills, so say all these skills I've got in my bar right now, these will all have an increased cost of 8%. And when it's on everything, um, you can really, you do notice it. And that is why a lot of people run Wretched Vitality to compensate for this ability cost. And of course, if you're not running, so when you add it all up, if you're not running a sustained race, and you are not running, um, and you're running vampire, and you know you're running like so on this build. I'm running like a dark elf, so there's no sustain there. And then you've got the vampire, which is increasing your regular ability cost, which is eating into your more of your sustain, making more of your abilities very costly. So, um, the vampire is the reason your bar seems to just go down so fast. So, um, obviously, what people have been doing to get around this is you just have to invest more into sustain. So, people run the Jewels of Misrule, as this will give you more sustain. Um, or run a sustain race to compensate for that. Or another one I would recommend, I haven't got one on this actual character, I don't think. Um, but you can get a cost reduction on the jewellery glyph of, say, uh, Magicka-based skills. And it will take like two or three hundred of each skill. And that will obviously um, mitigate some of the uh, vampire's penalties. So when people say, oh, you know, or even I've said that, you know, the undef passive is too strong. There's not enough downsides. That is a bit of an unnoticed downside that your every skill you're pressing is just big cost, big cost. And that 8% will take a massive hit into your bars. Um, so that is why sustain feels a bit worse, you know, in recent years of playing PvP because it's it's that vampire. I think it needs a complete rework, really. Um, so yeah, I hope this video helps people out. It's just a simple um, explanation video, really, on why people are struggling and just some ways just to compensate for that. Use a reduced use a reduced glyph cost on the jewellery. 
make sure you run sustain food or you could even change the mundus to a sustain run a sustain race all to compensate for that costly vampire so i hope this tip has uh, enlightened people and hopefully things will change um if you enjoy the video please give it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already i do lots of builds and guides and tip videos I'm currently uh, leveling um, on PC as well, so I'm on active on PC. Um, and if you've got any queries or comments, I'm just drop them in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.